Hey guys and welcome back. If you've just joined us, this is the Tenfold Live Show and we're covering 2D and 3D trigonometry. Don't forget to send in your questions. We have a WhatsApp line that's available to you guys. Also hit us up on our Facebook. We'd love to give you even just a shout out because you are what makes us possible. For now, we have a question that was sent in by Criselda. It's a really great question, so let's have a look at what she has to say. Hey Tenfold, my name is Criselda. I'm experiencing major problems with this math uh, question here, and I need you guys to help me out, please. Here's the question. Great, this is actually a really great question because it involves both 2D and 3D elements, so it's quite involved. It's quite a long question, so let's just jump right into it. It says, a triangular lookout platform, i.e. triangle ABC, that's this triangle over here, is attached to a bridge that extends over a deep gorge. The vertical depth of the gorge, i.e. the distance from the edge of the lookout C over here, to the bottom of the gorge at D over there is 13 meters. The angle of depression from A to D is 34 meters and from B to D is 28 degrees. Wow, 34 degrees and 28 degrees. My bad guys. The angle at the edge of the platform, i.e. angle C, is 76 degrees. Okay, so just to give you an overview of how to interpret this in a 3D context, guys, they're basically saying triangle ABD is this flat platform that people can stand on and look out over the gorge. And then that distance CD is the distance into the gorge. So that's where the 3D element comes in. So hopefully that helps you interpret this question a little better. So let's see what we have to solve. Firstly, it says calculate the area of the lookout platform to the nearest meter squared. Okay, so this lookout platform here, we're dealing with triangle A, B, C. The only information we're given in this triangle is that 76 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to look at the triangles next door to this. This triangle here and this triangle here to try and solve for these missing edges because if we find these two edges here, we can use the area rule. Okay, so in this triangle here, I have the side opposite the given angle that we have and I'm trying to find the side adjacent. Okay, so tan ratio, tan of 28 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is given to us as 13 over BC, which means that BC is equal to 13 over tan of 28 degrees. And if we stick that into our calculator, we get 13 divided by tan of 28 gives us 24,45. I'm going to round to two decimal places. Okay, so that's this side over here, 24,45. Same thing applies in the other triangle, and it's exactly the same ratio because we have opposite side, adjacent side that we're trying to find. So AC would be equal to 13 over tan of 34 degrees because that's this angle over here. Okay, so if we put that in my calculator, get 13 divided by tan of 34, and that gives us 19,27. 19,27, make sure that's a nine. Okay, so now guys, easy peasy lemon squeezy, the area of triangle ABC is equal to half of the one side, which is 19,27, multiplied by the other side, which is 24,45, multiplied by sine of their included angle, which is 76 degrees. Okay, so now it's just simple substitution into our calculator. Clear that out, so we get one half multiplied by 19,27, multiplied by 24,45, multiplied by sine of 76 degrees. That gives us 228,58. But remember the question said, to the nearest meter squared. So that gives us 229 meters. Okay, simple enough, guys. Let's move on to the next question because this is only going to get more complicated. 
Now it says, if the platform is constructed so that the two angles of depression CAD, which is this angle here, and CBD, which is this angle there, are both equal to 45 degrees, okay, and the vertical depth of the gorge CD is equal to D. AB is equal to X, ACB is equal to theta. Alrighty, okay, this requires a whole redraw of this diagram, guys, because they're changing every variable. Quickly draw this out. Let's see. Okay, so they've now said that if this is 45, and that is 45, uh, the vertical depth of the gorge is D, AB equals X, and ACB is equal to theta. Show that cos of theta is equal to 1 minus x squared over 2d squared. Okay, so guys, immediately if I'm looking for x squared here, I'm kind of inclined to use the cos rule because we're looking for cos in our proof here. Okay, so if we want to use the cos rule in this triangle ABC up here, we're going to need these two sides, AB and AC. Okay, so simple enough. Same thing that we did last time, except for the angles have changed. So tan of 45 in this triangle here is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which means that AC is equal to D over tan of 45. Now guys, tan of 45 special angle is equal to one. So AC is equal to D, okay? If you look here, because it's the same value D here and 45 there, that means that AC and CB, CB are the same distance because we have identical triangles happening there. Okay, so now if we look in that top triangle there, we have ABC, this is given to us as X, this was theta, and we've just found that these two sides are equal to D. Okay, so let's use the cos rule. X squared is equal to the one side squared plus the other side squared minus twice their product, so that's d squared again, multiplied by cos of their included angle. Alrighty, let's keep simplifying and see if we get somewhere. That would equal 2d squared minus 2d squared multiplied by cos of theta. Okay, trying to prove for cos of theta, so let's try and isolate that. Here we have x squared, can't do anything there. If we take out a common factor of 2d squared, we get 1 minus cos of theta. Okay, so we're still trying to isolate this cos of theta. So we get x squared divided by 2d squared is equal to 1 minus cos of theta. And then just to get cos of theta on its own, we can move it to this side. It's equal to 1 minus x squared all over 2d squared. And that is exactly what we're trying to prove up here. Okay, guys, I know that I did kind of race through this question. It's just we're on a little bit of a time crunch with our live show, and I really wanted to get through all of this stuff because it's a nice 3D question. So hopefully this helps you understand. Go through the question by yourself. See if you understand stuff. If you have any questions, hit us up on our Facebook. We'd love to address your concerns. And that's it for this question. It was really great. So thanks for sending it in, guys. Thanks for that question, Philippa. Uh, guys, we're going to take a quick break now and we'll be back for the last question. Stay tuned.